In this problem, we have to write cosine theta in terms of sine theta if theta is acute. So acute means that the measure of the angle is less than 90 degrees. So let's start maybe by writing down an identity that relates uh, cosine and sine. So the easiest one that most people know is the following. Cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So this is the identity uh, that most people know. And we have to write cosine in terms of sine. It means we have to solve this for cosine. So we'll start by subtracting sine squared from both sides. So minus sine squared and then minus sine squared. These cancel and so we have cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay, so we're looking for cosine, so now uh, because it's being squared, we'll take the square root of both sides. So we have the square root, and we have the square root. And so whenever you take the square root of any type of variable term squared, you do have to put a plus or minus. So you have cosine theta equals plus or minus the square root of one minus sine squared theta. So now we need to decide, uh, do we leave it as plus or minus? Is it the plus? Is it the minus? So this is what helps us. We know that theta is acute. So if we think about the unit circle, this is 90 degrees, and this is 0 degrees. So theta is some angle here maybe, somewhere here between 90 and 0. So cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle. And so the x-coordinate here is positive. That means cosine must be positive. So we just use the plus. Really kind of cool. 1 minus sine squared theta. So again, theta is an acute angle. That means it's over here in quadrant 1. And cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle. And the x-coordinate over here in quadrant 1 is positive. Therefore, cosine must be positive, and so we only use the plus. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.